These are girls of Lukutia community of Nasarawa, proclaiming to the world that having a menstrual period is neither a sin nor a disease, but a thing of pride. This learning curve was made possible by a faith-based non-governmental organization, Always Sisters Foundation for Care and Development, as part of its activities to mark the 2021 World Humanitarian Day. The organization presented sanitary pads and other sundry items to the girls and other vulnerable children in the community. The chief executive officer of the organization, Mrs. Chika Obiechina, speaks on the need to intensify hygiene education and train women on skills for empowerment. Obiechina says helping comes from deep within, and when people make a conscious effort to help others, the world will be a better place. We are all about caring and developing children, young girls, and women, most especially indigent women. Because we know that in the society, women are the hands that rock the cradle. So we felt that um, it was nice to intervene in the lives of these women. Helping people intervene in the lives of people comes from within. It's not everyone that has that no, 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 no. You must really feel that this is something you are doing. If you are the kind of person that when you see people going through issues and it affects you, you can't sleep, you know, you are really unsettled. Doing this kind of thing will come easy. It's not everyone that actually feels it or understands that another person is going through stuff. For me, I would say, no matter how privileged you are, you might not even be as privileged as some people. Try to be your brother's keeper. It might not be as we have done, but try to be some your, your brother's keeper. UN General Assembly adopted a resolution designating August 19 as World Humanitarian Day in remembrance of the 22 humanitarian aid workers and the UN Special Representative for Iraq killed on August 19, 2003 in a bomb attack on the Canal Hotel in Baghdad, Iraq.